Here, this part back with another video, and I've been meaning to make this video for a while now. It's been on my mind with season nine of The Walking Dead on the horizon, it is coming back in October. I figure with all the controversy and news of Andrew Lincoln leaving the show, which is going to be very interesting and has caught my interest very much so because in this video, I'm going to play devil's advocate for you. And I'm not going to go against the show. And I'm going to tell you why I think, or I feel, or no, I'm, yeah, why I think Andrew Lincoln and Lauren Cohen leaving The Walking Dead is a good thing. And I might go into some some negatives here and there, but that's due to how the story's been told so far. But this is how this is why I think Andrew Lincoln and Laura Cohen leaving The Walking Dead is a good thing for the series as a whole. First being you can now pretty much create a soft reboot now what I mean by a soft reboot you can still do the whisper story you can still do the comic well like you can still do the comic certain comic book storylines but put a twist on it and I'm pretty sure going forward they're going to have to remix a lot of these different story lines and whatnot because from the outside looking in this series looks like a mess like this is going to be a epic this is going to be a fail a lot of people are saying i only watch the show for rick grimes or you know yada yada now this to me is very interesting because me i would take season nine you know have rick's death i don't know what they're gonna do with um maggie's character or if she's just gonna go go somewhere i don't know what they're gonna do with her character i don't know if they're gonna kill her character off but let's just say we're in a scenario where we're in season nine we get uh, by the end of season nine we get it like you know we get rick's death Maggie's gone. What else what else could they possibly do, right? And we already know that I feel like Daryl is going to get a lot more screen time. I have a feeling that Daryl's going to definitely get a lot more screen time this season. But we also can't forget that Negan is still somewhere. It is still locked up. That's what we see from the um, season nine trailer. And I have no clue what they're going to do with Negan's character. He might still go through the whole his, his whole comic book arc. You know, they might still do his storyline. Um, I don't think they will make him the main character because I think that would throw off a lot of people. Um, I have my personal pick coming up, but. I don't see them, I don't see Negan transition, transitioning into a main character very 
being received well by the fans. I don't see that uh, happening, even though that would be really cool. Because me personally, I like Negan. He's the like the best thing to come into The Walking Dead. That's my opinion. But me, I would ch- choose Michonne. Now, Michonne, I for, I'm I'm drawing a blank on the actress actress's name, but she is the best actress to put as a main lead, a temporary main lead. I say temporary because I'm going to go into another idea on uh, another idea what they could use. Um, But I would choose Michonne and have Daryl still be second in command. And now picture this, right? We know Daryl is going to have He's going to be button heads with Rick. And also, Maggie's going to be button heads with Rick. And that's going to cause a rift between those those characters. And I definitely think with... Daryl and Rick butting heads this season... It's going to make Daryl go off on his own. And kind of do some soul searching... Or when Rick's death happens, it fucks Daryl up in the head where he blames himself and he goes off somewhere. And then whatever happens to Maggie's character happens to Maggie's character. And while all this is going on, by like the mid-season finale or something like that, or um, even if they say... Rick's death to the very last episode, but I think they're gonna do it in the mid-season finale. That's th- this. This is just my scenario. Like, um, so with all this division, right? They've worked so hard to just keep together. It's now broken apart. Now they have to deal with the whispers, and I think that'd be perfect for Michonne. To show her leadership skills. Now she has to work with Negan. And other people now. Everybody's kind of discombobulated. And not communicating with each other. They're losing people. But. How it plays out in the comic books. You know. They end up winning barely. Daryl comes back somehow. But pretty much. I would make. Um. But that's why I say it's a good thing because now they can kind of sort of soft reboot the series. And how I would do it is if is if they kept um, Michonne's character as a temporary lead for like two or three seasons. And then when we got to the next big arc, they introduce a new character... Or even a character from Fear of the Walking Dead, because I know they're they're planning on merging the two shows. I don't know when, but they'd probably do that sooner than later now, with all the people that are leaving the show. But I would take that chance to introduce a new main character, somebody that's young, somebody that can look after Judith. I feel like um when they get at and when they get done the whisper war wherever they go next they could find a whole new main character somebody that's in their teens that's kind of gives uh that has the um personality of Rick and Carl put into one i think that'd be really interesting and have him be the main character him following Michonne Daryl and all of them and then it becomes his story. And then when Judith grows up, you know, she'll pretty much be in her teens at the time. And this new main character will most likely be in their early 20s. So you could have this a young actor 
portray this character for X amount of years. But this is just my, this is how I would do it, is if, if Walking Dead is planning on extending their life, uh, their, uh, their their uh their series i feel like this is the only way you could do it is if you kind of just take some risks and give some new uh show some new faces or some faces uh give them more of a uh a purpose you know kind of uh like i said you end rick's story at season nine and you transition that into giving Michonne her temporary lead, you know, for like two or three seasons. Because I feel like a lot of these actors want to get away from this show. But this is how I, I would do it to keep the, the series going and refreshed. To have... To them to lead up to a whole new character that we've never seen that's not in the comics, just completely original like Daryl is. But like I said, I wouldn't put Daryl as a main character because I feel like he he is a he's better suited as a wild card. But who knows where this series wants to go. Um but if they're looking to end the series very soon, I don't see them doing nothing like this. But this is just my view on how I would do it, or like, or my um, my suggestion on how I would do this series. If you wanted to keep it going, is to introduce a new character or new characters, but also introduce a whole new lead, like pretty much a whole new generation you know you we get like a after season 11 or 12 whatever we do a five-year time skip or something like that and things are starting to kind of look up not really but it's i don't know this is just my thoughts on it and i think would be a good idea for the Walking Dead to do, if they want to keep going, it's just keep showing new characters, do different storylines, don't go too much with the comic book, you know what I'm saying, because I feel like that's what kind of hurt them in the beginning, is they play too close to the comic books, and that's what a lot of these shows that are based off of books or comic books, like, I think they suffer, is when they go past the books or something like that now now they gotta kind of scramble for ideas and whatnot you know but i think the walking dead is going to be fine i think it's still going to get its views i think season nine they're going they looked at all the criticism and hopefully they're going to go in the right direction and hopefully they do they retire Rick's character um, in a respectful way. Same with Laura Cohen as Maggie. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll check y'all out in the next video. Peace.